welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I will be doing a classroom haul, but not just any classroom haul. It is going to be items that I got for free through a nonprofit organization called Classroom Central. And this video is not sponsored or affiliated with that organization or anything like that. I just thought this was a really cool thing that maybe some people don't know about and a really good opportunity. And also, I'm very excited to show you the things that I got. And all the information will be down in the description below in case you want to donate or volunteer your time or you're in the area and can utilize some of these resources. So, to be eligible to get things, I should say, from this organization, teachers and other school personnel are eligible to receive free supplies if 50% or more of their students receive free or reduced price lunch. So, very useful. They include essential school supplies, cleaning supplies, personal care items, STEM and literacy materials. This was more elementary tailored from what I noticed and lesson plan books and much more. And so I work at a title one school. So my school falls under this category and um, it's just been really helpful. I've gone to their mobile store, which is kind of like a off destination where they have this big bus and you can go around and grab some things like office supplies or little classroom things that you might need and I felt like that was a little bit more tailored towards elementary school but I did grab some really useful things but this is their free store which is really cool so you go to this location in downtown Charlotte I'm not sure if they have another one but that was the one that was like closest to me and you sign in you get your little check off sheet and you go around and you find the things that you need and it has like a max limit of things that you can get and you just kind of fill that in and put all your stuff in your buggy you like check out obviously you're not paying for anything they just need to make sure that they know how many things you got and of what and then you pull your car around and they help you pack everything in it's really quick easy fun and really really helpful so very cool organization and again the description will be below and let's get into it. I'm really excited. All right, so first up, let's see, let's see, what do we have? First thing I think I kind of gravitated towards was this humongous <laughs> thing of Elmer's glue. It's washable clear glue and it's got a little bonus glow in the dark glue and you know i'm a high school spanish teacher so i don't really see myself using this glue or glow in the dark glue very much i mean you never know but i did try to grab some things that maybe i could give to other teachers at my school that would be really useful so i'm thinking art you know art class might enjoy this or if another class is doing a project and we do some artsy like projects during our homeroom time so I think that will be put to use for sure. And for my class specifically, I've tried to do interactive binders this semester. It's going interestingly, and I definitely have some things I need to tweak, but I got some binders. And like I said before, there's a max number of things you can get for like each item. And for binders, it was five, but I did get some nice ones with like the little pocket area up front. Just like really nice through the binders. Got some of like different thickness, whatever they had. Um, these are really helpful for me because um, sometimes our school has them. Sometimes they don't have the size that I need. And then I got some wide ruled paper always useful you know especially if you're gonna have interactive binders and they gave me this bag to carry my stuff in which was very nice i think i was supposed to bring my own bags but i completely forgot i was just like rushing out the door to get there on time because like i said i had an appointment and then i got this book bag it is let's see metro pack it's a five dollar backpack but it would be useful to somebody maybe I should consider a backpack carrying my supplies back and forth because I have like this bag and I feel like I'm lugging it, lugging it. back 
back and forth each and every day. But so let's see what I put in my backpack. Like I said, the bottle of backpack, the zipper's not the best, but that's okay. Oops, free. All right, so I got a pack of Sharpies. I don't really know why, but I feel like at least once a week, my students ask me for Sharpies, and now I can finally get them some Sharpies. And I got various mechanical pencils. They just, they didn't have a pack of these, so you could get 10 of them, and I felt like they were just kind of falling everywhere, but these are really nice because I always have students asking me for mechanical pencils. So love that they have these. And I also have students asking me for like rubber bands and hair ties and things. I don't know. I feel like I always have someone asking me for something quite random like this that I don't really like think to have in my classroom, but now I do. And I use paper clips all of the time to keep my things together. And I had really cool um, multicolored ones and I almost used them all. So these are cool, they're gold finished paper clips. There's a hundred of them. I think I got two packs of these. Yeah. So I was really, really happy about that. And let's see, I'm going through all of my mechanical pencils here. Okay, moving on to the next pouch in this backpack. Yeah, so I got some, what would I call this? Toiletry, like toiletry little baggies. You know, being at like the Title One school, some kids might need this. And we have box at our school with little toiletries so that we can set it outside because we have a high traffic area with like homeless population. And we try to do things in the community like through our school as well. So I thought these would be good to use. And I, of course, just got a lot of colored pencils. I like to do interactive things with kids sometimes, like with colored pencils or coloring markers. And I think it's just easier to have multiples because I started out, you know, got my own and I only have like one pack of colored pencils. So all the kids were sharing one pack of colored pencils, which luckily I don't have super big class sizes, but it took a lot longer with just one pack. So now I have multiple, which is quite nice. And then I had some really cool books um, in Spanish. So I thought, you know, this might be nice for Spanish too, if you want to read something. Um, we'll have to see. I didn't get to like sit there and read them, but oh, I just opened up the page and I see one of my vocabulary wins from my classes. So perfect. Um, and I got multiples of like each story so that maybe I could do like the group work. Oops, group work. <laughs> and um, kind of switch things up, but really cool. I'm excited to incorporate more um, reading books in my classes um, just to challenge my students and also help them kind of see more real world Spanish connections. But continuing on, oh yeah, they had these little like pencil pouch packs. I got two of these. I think that was the max on this one. And so I got just some number two pencils, some nice erasers, and a pencil sharpener, which would be really useful because I'm always, always, always having students asking me for pencils. I have a lot of pencils in my classroom. Don't know why they can't find them. I tell them where they are every school day. But I'm finding more mechanical pencils here. I told you guys they were everywhere. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And um, these are cool. I didn't get to look at these for super long, but I thought, you know, these look pretty darn cool. They are substitute teacher folders. You can see these. But let's just look at it a little bit. So they gave me like, I think a 12 pack, which was sweet. Um, it's got like important people. So the principal, I guess if you have like a new substitute, so this might be good for like elementary school or I don't know, middle school, but we have some like permanent subs right now or like guest teachers at my school. So I might not fill these things out, but it would be nice for them to have their own folder. I might pass these around a little bit cause I don't know if I'll need 12 but um, it's got procedures, like morning openings, student illness during the day, like for various things for like them to fill out. And then you've got some student information. So students who go to special classes or students with special needs. Um, and it lists like the things that they might be able to find in the folder. So that's actually really cool. And then you've got important times and you can put your daily schedule on the back. 
Okay, and what I expect from my colleague, the substitute teacher, and I can add additional information and instructions. So this is actually really cool. I'm definitely gonna um, utilize these for sure. I'm excited about that. And then I have, let's see, oh my gosh, another mechanical pencil <laughs> and some crayons. Okay, so I'm gonna pause here for a second. Do you say crayons? crayons or crayons because you know i grew up around charlotte we have people from a lot of different places and so there's always variation and like the way that people say things but this is the one word i feel like i've gotten into some heated discussions about quite a bit definitely more than once and i personally believe it's crayon it's crayon it's a crayon it's a crayola crayon i'm sorry anyways put down in the comment how you pronounce crayon but so I got a box of these. I also, I got another box, but I have a puppy. He's a lab mix and he's a chewer. And so he already got into one, but I salvaged a majority of the crayons in the other box. So got two of those. There's more. Okay. All right. I snatched as much of these things as I could because COVID is still here, people. I still wear my mask in school. Uh, we have a, at least one teacher out with COVID right now, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I just try to keep things as clean as possible. And you know, I try to let students eat snacks if they need to. I mean, you know, hopefully they're properly distanced. And well, right now you can either choose to wear a mask, but um, I do personally think that there's a long break between breakfast and some kids don't eat breakfast and then some of my students don't like the lunch so they don't eat lunch so I let them eat snacks. They call me crazy but I'm going to try to keep things as clean as possible so I got the max number of these white small wipes and so one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of these. Oh. Yes, here's my other little baggie of salvage crayons. And I got some highlighters. He got into one of my highlighters as well, but here are the other ones. For some reason, I just never had any highlighters, but I feel like they would be very useful when my kids are reading. So I'm gonna put these down. And I've only got a few more things, but this is a lot. This is a lot, and um, this will be really useful. And like I said, you know, everything, Okay, like I said, everything is gonna get used. If I get it to my classroom and realize like, I'm never gonna use this, I'm definitely gonna give it to one of the other teachers at my school, um, give it out to students that need it. Like it will all get used, I am sure. And so let's continue. They have some cool quarters and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be switching classrooms next year or not, but I just, I love borders. I think they're fun. And these are reversible. So you've got this cool, colorful stripe when you flip around. You've got some some nice squiggles. I don't know, is that what you call this pattern? Squiggles? But yes. And then so I got the max number of those three. Cause you never know. Cause you never know. And actually, here's kind of like a tip. I do um some like grammar sentence strip pairings and stuff and these borders are actually really useful for that or so i'll do like little puzzles so here's an example for like my native speakers class i'll write out like a quote that's like a metaphor or like simile and um i will like do a little puzzle edge cuts on the in between the words so they'll have to like match them and then figure out whether it's a metaphor or a simile or, you know personification or whatever so I love these if I don't use it for border I'll use it for activities so those are great and then the last two things the last two things are copy paper so exciting I think this you know I thought about not getting it because our school gets copy paper but then I remembered today we ran out of copy paper so how nice would it be to just go to my room and grab some copy paper and, and help everybody out. So yes, always in need of copy paper. I believe that's everything, but I think, 
so far, you know, I haven't done a lot of videos, but I think this has been my most exciting and fun video yet. So thank you so much for joining. Please give me a like, a subscribe, comment down below how you pronounce crayon. And I hope to see you guys next time. Again, if you want to check out Classroom Central, donate, maybe utilize some of their services or volunteer your time, I will leave that information down below. And I hope you guys have a great day.